So we're here today in the rural outskirts of Sydney with David Green, the creator and founder of the MyMic system. How are you doing, David? Good. And uh, we're in a workshop of a, an amazing Swiss sculptor, Ulrich Steiner. Now, Ulrich's a good friend of mine, and he's been building metal sculptures out of stainless steel for about 20 years. And, uh, we just thought it'd be a great way of showing off this MyMic audio system by filming Ulrich today and his sculptures and creating his artworks because he's got some uh, pretty noisy machinery, cutters, blow torches, and uh, just showing off the sounds whilst also demonstrating the MyMic system. So David, first of all, tell me a little bit about what is the MyMic system? Okay, well MyMic, we're an Australian company and we design and create audio systems for people who are using DSLR cameras for filmmaking. So what we have is a directional microphone and another product underneath, that's the SmartLink. So everything we've created is all the bits that are missing from the camera. And also because it's so light, I can actually have that mounted on the camera and like when I'm using a glide cam, it's not going to add a lot of weight to the camera and the balance of the camera. Well, a glide cam is a perfect, perfect example where weight and balance is critical because the system won't work. So the combined weight of the microphone and the, and the smart mic, the smart link, is around about 200 grams. So now we've just got the smart mic on the camera. Can you tell us a little bit about the features of the mic? Okay, the smart mic, as you can see, it's what we call a shotgun microphone. It's a directional microphone. It's designed to pick up the sounds from the front of the camera. And it does this by using this principle. And underneath this foam here, we've got this barrel. And we have a microphone capsule at the base of the barrel, which is a capsule which is designed to pick up the sounds from the front of the capsule. Down the side, we have all these slots. And these slots are designed to reject the sounds from around the camera. The microphone is mounted into the back of the housing here using this principle here. This is our shock mounting system and this red ring here actually extends right back into this housing here. And it's a material called TPE silicon rubber. It's an amazing material, it's perfect for what we use to stop handling noise from the camera getting into the microphone. Okay, on the back of the microphone we've got two sensitivity levels. We've got the zero position in the centre and then we've got plus 15 dB and minus 15 dB. If we're in an environment which is really noisy, we would select the minus 15 dB setting. And obviously, if it's a quiet environment, we've got enough gain, we can push the 15 dB setting up. Great, and now the windshield as well. You've got a windshield unit? We do have a windshield unit. These cameras and these microphones, when they're used together like this, they're usually used outside, which means wind is, a, is an issue. So that just slips over there, and then that keeps the wind out. So David, now tell us a little bit about the smart link. Well, Smart Link is exactly what it is. It's a link between the microphone and the camera. And if we look at this side over here, we've got two audio inputs. This allows us to plug the microphone, which is on top of the camera, in, and another microphone, maybe a wireless system. We have two level controls, which allows us to set a balance between those two microphones. And if we quickly turn around to the other side, we have three outputs here. And the first output is a headphone monitor. Now this is, allows us to listen to what we're going to be recording audio-wise, and if we're going to be doing a mix, we really need to listen to both microphones. So this allows us to set the levels from the two level controls on this side and get the mix that we want between, as I said, the wireless, maybe the wireless system, and the top mic. The next one we move to is the mic output, and this is the output which is going to go to the audio input of the camera. Now, you may want to use some other recording device for a backup of different devices. Something like the, uh, the new Zoom H6 could be something you would use. Yeah. So you would come out of this device where it says mic and into the input of the H6. As, as well as the camera, so you're recording both. Exactly, exactly. We have another app that's also possible. This is, very, this is unique to our system. Um, we have an app output which is designed to drive a smartphone. This is what we call the camera audio app and this particular app is for use in conjunction with the Smart Link. It acts as a very simple audio recorder, but with the app you can record something to the app and then move the switch on Smart Link to play back and you can listen immediately back to your recording. This is the My Mic Reporter app. The screen looks identical to the camera audio app, except in this particular case, when we press the record button, we get, voila, who we work for. The My Mic Audio Reporter app allows you to import your own company logo into the screen. So when you hold it up in front of the journalist, not only are you getting directional audio from SmartMic into your phone, 
but you're getting your company logo as well. So David, now we've got the uh, Smart Link actually doing what it's supposed to. You've got two inputs happening, so tell us what's happening here. Okay, this is a, a typical application. Um, what we've got here, we've got the Smart Link, Smart Mic on top of the Smart Link, plugged into microphone input one, and we've got a wireless receiver plugged into microphone input two. Now, a couple of things are happening here. Obviously, we've got two inputs coming into the system. We control the levels of those and we can create our mix from the level controls here, which are gonna be sent to the camera. But we've now got headphones, so we can monitor between the two inputs and we can set our mix between these two input inputs here. Coming from a landlocked country like Switzerland was unusual because, uh, but my parents always bought those books about the uh, circumnavigation of uh, yachtsmen, like the very early one, uh, uh, South American um, one uh, from Argentina. The, so David, what is this? This is a quick release? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It is a quick release. Just by one quick quarter of a turn, we can actually remove the entire audio system from the camera. What we can do as well is we can just turn this through one quarter of a turn and remove the cold shoe attachment from that. On the bottom of SmartLink, we have a standard thread here. which We can attach it to a tripod or a pistol grip or a boom pole, and we can get into the sound and be out of shot of the camera. So David, the whole My Mic system, what sort of filmmakers or people is it targeted towards? There's a huge audience for this. A lot of people are using DSLR cameras now for shooting moving picture or, or film. People who would never have thought about using it before. You know, a documentary maker who's going trekking, it doesn't weigh much, it's a it's, it's very robust system. You can trek through the wilderness with a big powerful audio system sitting on top of your camera. So it's great that you've, you've, you've created solutions for this huge DSLR market that is out there and um, my mic is, is, a, is a great option for people. My mic, we believe, is a fantastic option for people. It's simple to use. One click of the switch, it all comes off, goes in your bag. Very simple to stow, take away and travel with.